when I discovered I was pregnant, I was just like, oh God, if you could have done it like five years before, I would have been great, <laughs> more grateful. But it happened when I was 45 and I just put my trust in God. So I had polycystic ovaries where I was told, you know, it would be very hard, if not impossible for me to have children. But God, you know, he's the healer. He healed my womb and he's done great and awesome things. Lisa Gordon is no stranger to the power of God. When doctors said the multiple cysts in her womb would prevent her from having any children, God defied them twice over by giving her two beautiful, healthy children. But there was a longing in Lisa and her husband's heart for a third child. But after numerous failed attempts, Lisa was beginning to doubt that a third child would be possible. God told me at that time, God told me to give it to him give the situations, just get, hand everything over to him. And after that, um, I had a miscarriage, um, which was really, you know, it was heartbreaking. As your life goes on, you just, you just begin to think, well, my child would have been, but I just remained, I thought, one thing that I took with me from being in that hospital and having the miscarriage, I came out saying I would not be bitter. And you know, and I stood in faith, just to know that if I was supposed to have a third child, then God would do it. So I just remained faithful, I served God, I, you know, went on, loved, you know, babies around, and just always knew that that was an experience, but I had to just overcome and just move forward positively, and that's what I did do. After her miscarriage, Lisa relied heavily on her new wine family for support. One of the places that uplifted her spirit was attending a new wine cell group every Wednesday at 7 p.m. At the cell group, I remember we were, um, it was a really good cell group. We were all connected and we were praising and worshiping, and it was just a time where I just knew God was just speaking to me. And he said to me, what was stolen, he would return. And I knew at that point he meant my child. From the time I received the word, um, I held on to that word. You know, I went out, I bought baby items. I said, this is it. This is now. This, God has said it. This is coming to pass. And I didn't go out, you know, thinking, oh, I'm going to plan for a baby because I said, it's not my plan. This is God's plan. And if it's his plan, he will do it in how he is supposed to do it. So I held on, but obviously as a woman, you know, the years pass, you know, another year gone, you think, is it? Maybe did I hear clearly? Is it, is it not? The time after Lisa heard God's promise tested her faith tremendously as it took not one, two or three, but over seven years before she could see any progress. Okay, so um, I have a friend um, from church and she had told me that, you know, there's gonna be night of miracles and you know to, we should be coming expect her because god is going to be doing great and wonderful things and she was actually traveling but i just had prepared in my heart that i was going to be there i was going to attend i was going to go and see i wouldn't say i had an expectation but i was just like if god is in the house then anything can happen i got to our miracles i sat down i listened to the word um, and I was just like, I just felt the atmosphere was just soaked with God's presence. I believe grace is in the house tonight to bring about a total turnaround. Um, pastor called forth everyone to come forward. And I went and I thought, okay, he'd lay hands on me and I'll just pass down the aisle. But it wasn't like that. Um, you know, pastor laid hands on me quite intently. So. I was just like, wow, you know, I just knew, I got back to my seat and I just knew a transfer, something had been taken place. I couldn't understand it, I couldn't comprehend it, but I just got back into my car and I just thought, something is, it's not like before. And I went home and two weeks later, I discovered I was pregnant. And I can only relate that night to when I truly received my miracle. By simply attending the Hour of Miracles, Lisa's promise from God was fulfilled. And on the 30th of June, 2016, Josiah, Jaden, Eli Gordon came into the world and he's been a blessing to their household ever since. While Lisa was on maternity leave with her miracle baby, she experienced such fulfillment and satisfaction that she felt the need to continue to stay home and invest in her children. But 
but she couldn't fathom how that would be possible due to financial constraints. I just remember being at home and just saying, God, I'm just enjoying this. If there's any way you can make a way that I don't have to return to work and that I can just be doing more of what you've called me to do, you know, make a way. I was planning to resign. If I had resigned, I would have left with no package, you know, and I remember coming to the night of miracles and just feeling God just dropped something in my hand and he told me that was divine provision. And from that day, um, my work had just turned around and just offered me redundancy, so I haven't even had to go back to work and he's just provided all my needs. So it's obvious that God went ahead and just strategically worked out the way that he said he would. So after waiting eight years for a third child, Lisa and her family not only were blessed with Josiah, but they were also blessed with supernatural provision. To God be the glory. I would say to anyone who um, is thinking, should they come? Come, come expectant, because God is performing miracles in the place. You know, he's using Pastor Michael to just touch lives. He's just channeling his power and his glory. And your miracle is waiting. So don't miss the next Hour of Miracles, the first Friday of every month from 11 p.m. to 5 a.m. For more details, call us on 020-88-555-888 or visit us at Gateway House, John Wilson Street, Woolwich, London, SC18. Connect with us on social media at New Wine London on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Grab hold of your miracle. Cool.